Good morning, good evening, whenever you're watching this, and welcome back to Persona 5. So, in the last episode, we helped Mishima overcome his inner demons, and helped him remember why he started the fan site in the first place. We also maxed out yet another confidant, Kefumi. And today is a very special day, not just because it's my birthday in-game, but... At long last, we are finally tackling Okumura's palace. So I'm gonna go around town and get some stuff, prep us up for it, and then I'll meet you guys at the hideout. Okay. Hey, we're all here. Gotta pick up the pace, dude. I was in real trouble. I know, I know. So, let's go in. Okay, let's go. Do you have a minute? We didn't have any problems last time until that authentication device. Let's head there first. All right. Let's start today's job! Alright, we're back in Okumura's palace. And I mentioned before that it's not the most well-loved among the fan community, and that still holds true. Most people see this as the worst palace. Mostly because of the events surrounding it. Anyway... I'll try and rearrange my party a bit. I'll keep it as it is. Let's do it. Start with our base save. Should anything go wrong? And let's go. Um, just one moment. I can fight too. Please, let me join you in battle. Mm. Your persona is too weak to fight safely at the moment. Just leave that side of the things to us for now. Yes. Now we have enemies. Daleks, from the look of it. Fitting, considering the sci-fi setting. Fine. Then let's talk. Once me understand you, me lend you my power. Found human. Me not understand. How did human outsmart me? Me not understand in what way you superior to me. I'm cuter than you. Honestly. Looks like only good for attracting mates. After that, looks are useless, right? <laughs> just so me clear, even if you defeat me, another assassin just target you. You better enjoy and be drunk on victory while you can. It not last long. You know, like talking long time. <laughs> me too. If they, we are all equals, words are not. <laughs> me remember now. I am not. Now I. Me am not a shadow that belongs here. Me exist in the sea of souls of humans. Me am Arahabachi. My power is your power. Use it how you want. The guard dogs in the, this palace are probe droids. Hey, I was wondering this last time. What is this thing? A frisbee? Looks like a hamburger bun to me. I mean, we're dealing with Big Bang Burger here. <sighs> I'm sure it'll become clear as we proceed. Come on, let's go. I can feel it. Well, let's get past this door. Um, for 
or the Doran question. Leave it to me. <laughs> that biometric scanner is useless now that we've got his actual family on our side. By the way, you seemed real fired up back when we first met. Was that an act Mona put you up to? You know, the beauty thingy? That was... um... I was trying to be a heroine of justice. Uh... is that a joke? You moron! Ever since I was young, people around me have never seen me for who I really am. They would be kind to me just to please my father, and would get money and presents in exchange. Adults, teachers, even friends. It seemed like everyone smiled at me for their own personal gain. That's why you kept the details of your family a secret at school. But the female superheroes I used to see on TV were so great! They always fought for others, not themselves, and they were always happy. I wanted to be just like that! Even though I knew it was a fantasy, I still looked up to them. Everyone goes wild over heroes at some point. It's fine having someone like that on our side, right, Joker? What are you kidding? Of course. Everyone loves superheroes. What are you doing here? Huh? 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 This is insane on so many levels. I thought I told you not to associate with vulgar people. That bastard. Him? Did he come into the palace too? No. He might look the same, but that isn't the real person. Remember what I explained to you earlier? You mean about the cognition thing? What are you mumbling about? Do you recall what I said before? That I would do my best for you. This is my answer to that. Are those... the rumored phantom thieves? I see. You're handing them over to me as a plea for forgiveness. Overcome failure at any cost, even if it means betraying others. You truly embody the Okumura motto. That's your family motto? Very well, join me. Why do you only ever think about gains and losses? That's why the company has a bad reputation. All because you treat people like they're tools! To gain, you must give. One must be resolved to give even more if they wish to stand above others. We are on vastly different levels. And soon, I will rise to a new stage. The political world. The cold reality of kicking people down is a part of business. Virtue and sentiment are for losers. <laughs> Okumura Foods shall be the foundation of my victory. His company is just a stepping stone. Mr. Okumura, we don't need a girl who's been soiled by thieves. Unless you make some compromises. I can't introduce her to my father. She needn't be your lawful wife anymore. Take her as your lover or whatever it is you desire. Very well. I accept. Lover? I was raised under this company's wealth. I even accepted a political marriage for you. This is not what we discussed! Father, you want me to be that man's plaything just to satisfy your own ambitions? <laughs> Why fret? You should be overjoyed that you're fulfilling your role as an Okumura daughter. This is the only value you've had from the very beginning. So, even his own daughter's life is a commodity to him. Now, why don't you come to my place? Let's have fun. I'll play with you until I get bored. A high school feeling said for me to what it's around. So vulgar. No! Haru's persona won't stand a chance against that! Don't worry! 
She hadn't awakened to her real power. That's all. How dare you? I see you finally made up your mind, my dear fated princess. Freedom for you must stem from betrayal. If you still yearn for it now, then you must not err. Now tell me, who shall you betray? My heart has been set. You should know. Yes, that gaze! I can finally display my true strength! I am thou, thou art I! Let us adorn your departure into freedom! With the means of betrayal! Jeez! Farewell, dear father! I am no longer your subservient puppet! Then so be it. You're worthless. Hm. Deal with them how you wish. You poor thing. I'll toy with you until you break. I don't expect you to come to reason at all. Uh-huh. We should have just told you this from the start, asshat! We are the Phantom Thieves, here to take your bride! Steal from others need to be severely punished. How rude. Be a good girl. Come, be my toy. I have no intentions of talking to you. For the sake of changing my father's heart, I cannot lose! So this is Haru's true power. Haru? Alright, let's do this. Time to pummel that scummy jerk. Persona!
What were you saying about her persona being weak? <gasps> he disappeared! Is that okay? Are you sure you taught her how things work in here? I did. Or so I thought. What's the point if she doesn't get it? Don't worry. Cognitive beings have no correlation to their real-world counterparts. You'll see when we get back. I guarantee he will be okay. Then he's not dead? That's right. Dude, does this mean we got a new teammate? Good to have ya. Uh... She already has a code name. You can call me Noir. Noir? It means black in French. I'd like to be a heroine of justice, but the Phantom Thieves are on the darker side of the law. I chose the name Noir to remind me of that. Nice code name. Très bien. There you have it. As long as she's into it. She created quite an elaborate backstory. Noir. I like it. It conveys a dignity that won't bow down to others, as well as a rebellious spirit towards society. Thank you. Don't let your guard down, Noir. Our trip through the palace doesn't end until we steal the treasure, after all. Yes, sir! Someone's talking all big again. Then... Come now, let us continue forth. Treasure chest spotted! Let's open it! Hey! Look at that! Mmm... I can smell the treasure over in that direction. It's probably in that building. Hmm... That seems quite far off. It is difficult to ascertain the shortest route there as well. We'll just have to keep going on whatever path we find for the time being. Let's go. Um... It won't open. Will we need Noir's help once again? No, this one isn't a biometric authentication. But it might be hard to open it from here. We'll probably need to look for a server or a terminal if we want to break through. <sighs> server, huh? Here. Whoa! I'll reveal your true form. Really? Is this a terminal? Could this place be a server room? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> All right, that should have opened a bunch of doors. I managed to grab a map of the place, too. That's incredible. This means our infiltration deeper into the palace should go easier, yes? I don't know about that. There are three more areas ahead. The barracks, the factory, and the airlock area. A factory? I was wondering about that, too. I... Actually, I found one other interesting file when I was cracking into the system. It's called Project Escape to Utopia. There was some kind of blueprint inside, too. It looks like whatever they're making for it is ginormous. In fact, it can't just be for burgers. This is... Escape to Utopia. What do you think that's supposed to mean? It ain't gonna matter if we can steal the treasure and make this palace disappear. Let's hurry! Huh? Still ain't opening even after all of Oracle's tinkering? This bastard really doesn't trust anybody, huh? Skull! Um, it's alright. Father is clearly guilty of some horrible crimes. That's why we will stop him. We'll still need to think of a way to get past here, though. Can you figure something out, Oracle? Hmm... If it's not a normal lock or a biometric one, I think it might call for rank authentication. 
basically you have to be at least a chief director to get through here. So even the robot employees have positions and ranks. What are we supposed to do about this? Guess we'll have to swipe someone's ID. Perhaps it is. Oh, you mean an employee ID? Those are used to authorize entry in the real world company as well. You two are so smart. That's gotta be it. <laughs> then it's decided. Let's find an employee that rank of chief director or higher and take their employee ID. Come on, man. There are a ton of them. Wanna start taking their IDs? Not yet. If we go instead to their origin, there should be even more employees for us. You're right. Great idea. That should make it even easier to find a chief director. Let's head there, Joker. Hey, so how are we gonna go looking for this chief director thing? I did a scan of the area. There are multiple large readings around here. They're definitely different from normal robots, so it's probably one of them. Um, so we'll need to find out which one is the real one? But how exactly will we do that? Joker! Look! It's them! What's up with that room? There are tons of them in there. <laughs> Perfect timing. Let's try asking them about this director guy. That would be a foolish move. They'd report us immediately if they spotted us. You're right. We'll need to think of a way to glean info from them without asking. Fine skill of mine. <sighs> Impressive. I can see how you managed to wiretap LeBlanc for so long. That? Oh, that was nothing. Someday I'll show you what real wiretapping is. <laughs> In any case, there's no denying that this is a smart move. We'll just have to obtain information from the group about what their boss is like. Hold a moment. There appear to be a few of them further in. Let us go obtain their information as well. We got Chief Clerk and Sweet. It seems we've heard a good amount. What do you think, Joker? I think we know what we need. Then, well, let's get out of here before we get caught. It's somewhere. I can feel it. Yes! We have a pretty good amount of info now. Like about the sweets. That's on the chief clerk, yeah? We're looking for dirt on the chief director, remember? We don't have to target that director guy right away, though. We can go from the bottom up. Now that you mention it, I doubt we could reach the chief director immediately regardless. We don't have an employee ID, so accessing more secure areas would be impossible. You got it! Well, for now, let's just identify the chief clerk with the info we have. And if there are any more rooms that you think we can get info from, be sure to stop in. Join my cause. Whoa, hey. You're a smooth talker, just like me. Whoa, dude, I remember. I am thou, thou art I. I'm not a shadow that lives here. I'm from the Sea of Souls of you humans. I'm Gira Makala. From now on, I'm you. Come on. 
on, man. What the shit? There are two of the same robot? Didn't I tell you I was getting multiple signals? Oh! Moving on, we saw one of those red things giving instructions to the smaller robots, right? Does that mean that one of them is the chief director? Or just the chief clerk? Hmm. Should we defeat them both and take their employee IDs to find out? Hmm. There's no need to waste our energy like that. If we can talk to each one and compare what they say to the intel we have on hand, we might be able to tell what rank they are. Hmm. There's a shadow. Try you first. Joker! Are you ready? You need to hold our conversation and get info without making them suspicious of us. If they find out who we are, we'll be forced to fight. Be cautious. Who are all of you? And what's with that odd attire? We're salesmen. So you're a peddler? It won't be easy convincing me to buy anything, I promise you that. Now then, what profit would buying your product bring me? Have you brought gifts? We have sweets. What a boring gift. When I said profit, I was specifically talking about something more valuable. It seems... Nah, this guy is not the one. You got it! Thinking we can tell whether they'll or the target if we can squeeze some info out of them. That's right. We might be able to avoid unnecessary battles if we cross-reference that information. Maybe we can get some more info from these guys. Chief Clerk is stressed out. you? I don't recall making plans for visitors. We're salesmen. Is that so? You must be hard workers if you've come to sell without an appointment. I'll gladly listen to what you have to say. Now then, did you bring any gifts for me? We have sweets. Ah, you are quite in the know. I am a connoisseur of all things sweet. I can't help but chow down on them when I'm stressed. Joker. This is the one. Yes! There's no need for any more discussion. Take him down! Chief Clerk ID. Oh, this must be an employee ID card. Let me see. It says Chief Clerk on it. 
we're looking for one that's cheap director or higher, yes? <clears throat> this one should be okay for now. At the very least, it'll help us get to some new places. Yes, we can now enter areas restricted to those of chief clerk rank or higher. Time for a shift change. Time for a shift change. Everyone, move stations. Continue working until you die. to move stations. Perhaps the rooms we've already entered will have different robots. You got it. We should go check it out. Oh, and don't forget to look for places we can get into with that fancy new ID card. We got new robots in this place. New information can we get? Chief yells at people. I'm so glad it opened. We might end up getting a chief director ID eventually if we keep getting higher and higher ranks. Yes. Let's go about this one step at a time. Oh, and if you're feeling tired, be sure to stop in at the safe room, Joker. This is for your own good. There's one. Looks way different from the others. What rank is it, though? I wish they'd make them so that you could tell just by looking. Hey! Either way, let's try starting up a conversation like last time without raising suspicions. Hey! How are you? You can't be wandering here unattended. Sorry. Are you truly apologetic, though? I don't mean to lecture you, but this is for your own good. I'm not sure what business you have here, but you can't just come into. Wait. Just who are you all, anyway? What exactly are you looking for in a place like this? The Chief Director. Hmm? And what business do you children have with him? He is a very busy man. I don't intend on sparing time to chat with the likes of you once I become chief director either. Either way, such private talks are forbidden in this office. It is time you stop talking. Hey! I'm pretty sure this is the guy. Yeah! Everyone, are you 
Let's go. Thank you. Section Chief ID. An employee ID. This one says it's from the Section Chief. Oh, man. So he wasn't the Chief Director dude either? Can we just fight the President already? A worker has no need to eat. A worker has no need to eat. Everyone, it is time to change shifts. Keep working even if it destroys you. Is another shift change. Yes, the employees must be getting switched out just like before. Why don't we check the places accessible via the section chief ID card? This one is open as well. We're getting close to the end, right? Chief Director is usually directly above Section Chief. Don't forget to be cautious of your condition, everyone. If you're feeling tired, be sure to rest at a safe room. Thing's huge. What's with him? Could that be a higher rank? Yes. If size shows the importance father places on them, I suppose he should be quite high up. But is he who we're looking for? <laughs> oh, are you rascals? How did you get in here? What business do you have here at our best of the best corporation, Okumura Foods? Are you the chief director? Mm. Oh, I think I've figured it out. You must be the rumored phantom thieves. <laughs> Very well, I'll tell you the truth. I am indeed the chief director. Whether you choose to believe that or not is up to you. Now then, is that all you wanted to ask me? So, uh, if you are the chief director, then... What was it like back in your day? How admirable. You wish to hear of my successes, yes. Everyone as humble like you back when I was young, but youth nowadays. Joker. Hmm. He might be him. Okay. Oh, 
Persona. Chief Director ID. Perfect! We finally found the Chief Director's ID card. This means we can go in that ranked door downstairs now. <laughs> well, let's go check it out. Time to make it like a banana and split. about this floor. Perfect. We have the employee ID card we were after. So let's head downstairs when we're done here. Existence shall become a new part of you. Should open now. Um, we brought the employee ID from a chief director. Will we be able to pass through now? Of course. Well, probably. behind the mental shutdowns, but we haven't found anything even remotely pointing to such a secret so far. Mm. Something that important might be deeper in. Let's just keep going. If it's that big a secret, it must be in the treasure room. Oh! Look! That building is where the treasure is! We're not far! Seriously, that close? Can we just go from outside? No point going through there. Hmm, that might be worth a try. I am Red Rider. I shall become your mask and show you the authority I hold over the dogs of war. Okay. I can see it. Yeah! We made it! The treasure's in here, yeah? 
Just past this building. We're definitely getting closer. I find it somewhat odd that we have still yet to see anything about the mental shutdowns. Hmm. Well, this palace is on the site of the corporate HQ, remember? If you never told any employees about it, you may not find any hints toward his involvement. Worst comes to worst, we're just gonna have to get that info out of the shadow himself. Indeed. Let us hurry inside. I believe the factory comes next. Wait! This really is a factory. Just like the name says. I wonder what they're making here. Do you think it's related to that Escape to Utopia thing? Hold on a sec. Hey, the guy is in here moving kind of weird. Unfortunately, this is the exact opposite of how I would imagine a utopia to be. These conveyor belts and the positioning of the workers... This is almost identical to the company's bun factory. I can't believe this. I see. At the very least, this is how Okumura views his workers. My apologies for saying so, Noir, but this is truly atrocious. <laughs> Well, it'll all be under control if we can trigger that change of heart nap, yeah? Let's go! Hmm. This is... the smell. The treasure must be right beyond that door. Is this gonna be another one of them authentic whatever things? No, there's no authentication here. Kinda anticlimactic, huh? Sure, why not? I'm not complaining. Let's go! almost got crushed! That freaking hunk of metal broke way too goddamn easy! There is no point in complaining at this point. We will be forced to search for another route. Hmm. But is there one? Hmm. Do you think we'll be able to use the brittle nature of these arms to our advantage? Focus. What is this? Something came out! Huh? This is the control panel for that robotic arm. It seems we can use this to set it to either three times, five times, or ten times normal speed. But... I bet it breaks if it was stuck on ten times speed for a long time. Changing arm speed. Let's go for the highest setting. Appears to have broken. <sighs> he was dead like instantly. I know it's ten times normal speed, but still, it's weak. Yes. That just proves how truly overworked these machines are. It seems any increase to workload would have led to its collapse. Hey! Wait, but do you think we might be able to walk on the broken arm? We should check it out, Joker! Another console. Changing arm speed. Hey! We've gotten much closer! Yes, after quite the detour. Get rid of that yellow arm next. Oh.
Oh man. Shut up, Skull. Hey. Focus. It seems, from the look of it, there's only one more door. It seems we should head over there. <laughs> Wait a second. We will not be able to reach it without passing over what appears to be a hydraulic pleuris. Hmm. I guess we'll just have to stop it. Let's try and find a way to do that first. What is this? These must be shift controls for the presses. You can select break, lunch, or unpaid overtime. Wait, break is an option? We may be able to get past that problematic press if we can find the corresponding control panel. Let's do this, Joker. Now changing press shifts. Hmm. Let's go for lunch. It is now lunchtime. Let us consume our slop and gleefully re-energize. Lunchtime shall last for approximately 30 seconds. Break time is over. Let us work even harder to account for all the time wasted slagging off. Hmm? This is another one of them control panels, right? Should we set it to lunch again? Hmm. Actually, I did some research into these, and the other two options are meaningless. Break only lasts for five seconds, while unpaid overtime doesn't change anything at all. Wait! What do you mean it doesn't change anything? It's probably because the workers here are constantly working unpaid overtime. What a nightmare. I should have known. Regardless, those options are no use to us. It's probably best we simply choose lunch from now on. Time to run! I am Hecaton Kairos. These hundred hands will have emerged victorious in such varied wars are now held within your mask. All right. I'm Kumhanda. 
It seems now that I am your mask. I can unleash the rage buried deep within this desecrated soul. All right. I am Dai Sojo. You with the body immune to rot. Let us welcome the impending day of salvation together as one. I am your longer. I bestow upon thine mask a strength which can conjoin the heavens and the earth. Okay. I am Kushinada. It is time I become a new mask and free the pristine power hidden within your mortal flesh. Okay! For the company, for our wonderful President Okumura, I do this with joy, I do this with joy. <laughs> I still respecting them even though they're probably see co-workers collapse from getting overworked. It's mind control. They've been purposefully driven into a state of over-adaptation. Over what? Yes. When a person is continually faced with oppression, they come to welcome its presence. Such psychological trickery is being used here. I experienced it firsthand for many years. Fox. This is horrible. So these robots exist because Father is aware that he's exploiting his employees. Yes. We should be careful, though. I doubt we'd be able to communicate with these ones. We'll probably go straight into battle when we approach them. I suggest you prepare beforehand. Not that we can get to them right now with that laser net. Glory to our wonderful President Okumura and him alone. We shall give our utmost effort for him.
about them for now. We can't even make it there unless we stop that press. Take us directly to those dangerous employees. But we have to do this. If I smell the treasure somewhere past where they are. Brace yourselves. Company, for our wonderful President Okumura. Any who approaches this place will be crushed. We shall carry out our President's will with glee. easy as hell. Well, I mean, they're overworked, brainwashed, and forced to go up against an impossible enemy. I hope nobody ever treats me like that after I turn back into a human. <sighs> hey, come on, let's keep going. Don't look so down, Noir. Fuel addition has increased output. Incinerator throughput has reached approximately 270%. The employers are being dumped into that incinerator. <sighs> They're turning all of the worn down robots into fuel. 
That means the power source running this factory... It's... people's lives. Noir, are you okay? I'm not. Huh? I'm not going to forgive my father for this. I can't believe this is how he sees his workers. Let us go, everyone. We will change his heart, no matter what. Yes! We're with you all the way, Noir. area. Wait, does that mean we have to go into space? Hoping it's likely, I believe such an action would lead to our extermination. Yep, yep. Well, apparently you'll be okay for like 30 seconds if you keep your eyes and mouth shut. Uh, honestly, I would have probably just explode out there. For real? To scare us, damn it! <laughs> yeah, this puzzle is probably the one that gives most players grief. Deep breath. <sighs> For real? It appears as though we will need to move about in the same manner as before. To think we'd end up flying through space. The eye felt at seeing that flying bank feels like a distant memory at this point. Huh? Wait a second. Some airlocks are working, but others aren't. I hope we can reach our goal with just the ones that are on. What does this do? Is this... Are these switches? There is something written above each one. These symbols. So these lovers switch the airlocks on and off. It looks like this should open our path through here. This is all on you now, Joker. I'm so glad. It looks like this is the end. We did it, you guys. How is simple. Let's keep blazing a path through here. to do this time. It looks the same as before, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, the path we came on has been closed off. The airlock seemed to have changed. Let's proceed with caution. Join my cause. Amazing! I love conversations such as this, so... Oh, I'm sorry, I remember now. I am thou. Thou art I. In truth, I am not a shadow. I originated from the human sea of souls. My true name is Skaha. From here on forth, I am thou. Oh, we're finally reaching the end. That shit was easy. Uh, Skull? All you did was follow Joker. 
<laughs> Did you notice? These are the parts we saw in the factory area. So this is where they're being used. But what are they? It's hard to tell just from looking. Come on, man. Dude, let's leave this factory tour for later. We gotta focus on the treasure right now. Oh! Huh. It's rare to hear a skull say something sensible. found any information about the mental collapses. That bothers me. Oh yeah, you're right. Maybe he's hiding it. We got this far. Wouldn't it be better to just squeeze the truth out of the guy? Well, after we change his heart. That plan is fine by me. Let's send out the calling card and take his treasure then. You can decide when we do so. Right. We're done in here. Hey. It would seem... I see you have brought us the Hecaton Kairos with Masukunda. See? You can do it. You managed to do all three assignments, and you didn't once try to give up. Not bad. Hmm. Not many tasks left. We might be getting close to finding out the hidden goal behind that list. <laughs> you know, thanks to you, I'm actually starting to look forward to seeing what happens. <laughs> Your attitude has shifted quite considerably, Caroline. I see now that the harsh mask you wear during the fusion ritual is nothing more than a facade. What? Perhaps in your heart, you have longed for the days the inmate would come to fuse the specified personas. <sighs> Th that's not true! And what about you, Justine? You've been real talkative lately. <laughs> I suppose you are correct. I I've never heard you laugh before, Justine. We have both clearly changed it quite a bit recently. Perhaps my hypothesis is true after all. Yes, we have thought that if we were to complete the list, we would bring to light the intent of its creator. We have overseen the inmate, all the while considering the changes that have begun to appear within him. However, can it truly be said that the inmate is the only one who has changed? The completion of these tasks has also had a great impact on both my consciousness and my memories. Now wait! Are you trying to say the list isn't supposed to change the inmates, but us instead? <sighs> I have no proof of that. However, if this list represented the will of our master, why has it fallen into our hands and not his? This has got to be some kind of joke. You're telling me somebody made it so they could change us? But why? You two okay there? Uh, what's happening? I can hear a voice in my head. Wait, I recognize this voice. <laughs> Caroline? What seems to be the matter? You're acting quite abnormally. Does something trouble you? Our apologies, Master. Is the inmate proving to be too horrible a subject for you? No, the fog does not lie with him. If you must reprimand anyone, then let it be us. Caroline. I see. Very well. Continue onward with his rehabilitation. Our deepest apologies for that brief loss of composure. 
Now then, as you have completed three tasks, let us bestow upon you the next reward. We shall grant you permission to use the special isolation cell. You use it just like a normal lockdown cell, but it's a heck of a lot stronger. <laughs> How is it stronger exactly? Because the persona you pop in there will learn a stronger resistance skill. We expect that you will put its services to good use. Strength rank 8. Isolation. Allows you to learn stronger attribute resistance skills from lockdown. All right. Hmm. So I guess we've changed, huh? That much is clear. Strength. The 11th Arcana, which nearly evenly splits the major 22. The Awakening of the Unknown. A solitary woman calmly coming to the face a lion. Caroline, let us assign the inmate his next task before we discuss this matter any further. If this list is meant to change us, that change must surely be important. Fine. All right, inmate. It's time to get to your next task. Oh, and your next reward is going to be incredible. So you've got to do two tasks before you can have it. Listen well. Accordingly, these next two shall be the most difficult you have faced to this point. Farewell. On to the first assignment before your next reward. Try to harbor a bugs with a Samarakan within you. <laughs> we'll be waiting for you. Though I know you won't give up just because it's hard. I am Atropos. Snippet goes, the thread of fate. I am the mask which will see out your life. All right. Whew. All right. Made preparations for our time ahead. Now, let's get out of here. We secured our route to the treasure. Do you want to get out of here? Now returning to the real world from Okumura's palace. Thank you for your hard work. Secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. Hey, hey. So, when are we gonna send it? We don't want to be too hasty, but sitting around is pretty annoying. I guess just let me know when you're meeting at the hideout next. I'll be counting on you, Joker. Ah, you're back. Well, a lot has happened along the way, but we're finally here. Uh, what happened? Uh, you know, the whole kerfuffle between you and Mona? Do you really gotta bring that up again? It's all good. It was because of your fight that we met Haru, after all. Thank you. I wouldn't be able to do this without your help. Now is not the time to thank us. The finishing touch still remains. Calling card, right? What do I need to do? Ren will decide when we send it. Once he does that, 
We'll meet up and discuss the details. I'll prepare myself for that. I leave it in your capable hands, Amamiya-kun. Now then. This is Haru's first mission, and we're going after her father. Give word when you're ready. Right. Before we close this episode off, there's something that we need to do tonight. So, let's call Kao Kami up. Hey! What? <laughs> well, does it feel good? Master! Oh! See you later! I did get some, uh laundry there, so. But it's not a lot, so. We can save up on uh, calling Kawakami to do laundry for us. Anyway, tonight, we're trying something new over at Crossroads. Sorry, Ichiko-chan isn't here today. Oh, well, that's fine. I'm actually here to work. If you keep coming to a place like this, you won't turn out to be a good adult. Or is it that you're interested in working here at night? A lot of different people visit this bar, so maybe working here could broaden your perspective. You may not realize it, but you've got potential, young man. I can teach you the basics of how things are run here. Don't worry, you won't do anything illegal. Working at the bar. Working at the bar will cause time to pass, but you will receive money. Additionally, sometimes talking with the regular customers will improve various stats. So, did you want to do some work for me today? Alright, go on and change. Okay, let me explain what you'll be doing here, darling. It's your first time, so things might be a little scary. But just try to relax. It's easy work. I'll need you to help with some chores around the bar. Washing dishes, clearing tables, the like. I have to entertain the customers, so I can't do things with myself. That's why you're here now. And there you have it. Explanation finito. Do you have any questions? Will I have to serve any drinks? You're under age, right? So please don't touch any of the alcohol. No drinking it, of course. But that also means no serving it, either. I'll do that. Don't worry. Anything I should be careful of? Let's see. It's just one of me, so sometimes I can't pay attention to all my customers. Would you be on the lookout for those times? I'm sure they'll want to talk to you, too. They're all great people, so don't worry. I'm sure it'll be a good experience for you. Okay, one more question. Will I have to cross-dress at some point? Ah, uh, are you interested? I can be your producer if that's the case. <laughs> just kidding. I don't want to break any adult entertainment laws, you know. What are you wearing now is fine. Well, I guess I'll have you start immediately then. It's almost time for the customers to arrive, so good luck. Hey, hey! Imagine if you had to cross-dress for this job. <laughs> I would have loved to see you all dolled up. Oh! Hey, there's a customer who's all alone. You should go check up on them. Hmm. Which customer should I talk to? Lala seems busy. If you're not doing anything more important right now, then you're talking to me. Man, this customer is intense! I listened to him to the end without running away. Yep. 
How is that man so intense? Well, you didn't succumb to the intense vibe he gives off. You've got more guts than you did before. <laughs> All right. Thanks for your help. A miner like you should probably be getting home around now. Oh yeah, you were speaking with Yetsu Tora today, huh? Yeah, he's a scary looking man. I'm surprised you could hold a conversation with him. You really were quite bold to be able to talk to him. I was impressed by what I saw. Well, here's your pay. Keep up the good work. 5400. Nice. Alright, you should be going home. You're still underage, and Shinjuku is dangerous at night. Hmm... We'll need to be on more friendly terms with your co-worker to get more info on the target. Wanna head back? We should go home. I'm getting sleepy. Continue with Call Me Chief. Mm -hmm. A chief should act calmly in all situations. Wow! Hey, hey! Textbooks open to page... Picking up from last time, we were talking about the French Revolution. Having executed the royalty, the revolutionaries proceeded to take the courts under their control. All who opposed the revolution were executed. However, the revolutionaries too were then reviled as despots and executed by the public. All in all, more than 2,900 people were executed over the course of the revolution. The fact that this many executions were possible was actually due to one specific invention. I'm a Miyako. Take a look at this. What is the answer? This device made mass executions possible. You know what it's called, yes? It's a guillotine. This is it. Correct. By the way, the name guillotine comes from Joseph Ignis Guillotine, the doctor who proposed the idea. It may look cruel, but it delivered a swift, painless execution, regardless of one's social status. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that it embodied the French spirit of equality. Nice going! Revolution is sometimes a bloody thing. The revolutionaries that rose up for freedom became despots themselves. It's a common tale. That means... Our social reform doesn't hurt anybody in the real world. It's a bloodless revolution. out. But we're not sending the calling card just yet. Like, maybe in the next episode, but not today. So until then, thanks for watching. I would have loved to see you all dolled up. Oh no, he's 